Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Monica if you have never been here before. In today's video, I am going to be adding some touches of French country style to my bedroom and master bath and I cannot wait to share with you how I put everything all together. It looks so cozy and elegant and beautiful and I am just super excited to share all of the details with you. So let's just go ahead and get right into today's video. I have been really wanting to add some darker pieces to my really neutral white aesthetic here in my home and I have been wanting to add a beautiful vintage looking rose print above my bed but I just could not find the frame that I wanted or that I liked and if I did find one that I liked it was so expensive so I decided to pick up a plain wooden frame from Hobby Lobby and it was 50% off and then online on Amazon I found these beautiful wood appliques and it is exactly what I was looking for and I will leave links to everything in my description box. So I'm going to take these four corners and place them in the corners and I'm going to be using this E6000 glue. I love using this for all of my appliques that I purchase. Normally I do purchase the resin appliques but I thought that these wood appliques would be perfect here for this frame and the shipping was, I think it was a day or two. So I got these right away. So once I apply the glue to the backs, I'm gonna just place them in the corner and then I'm gonna place the larger one in the center at the very top. And I wanted to make sure this was nice and dry before I started painting. So I'm gonna let this sit overnight. If this is the first time you have ever been to my channel, I just want to say thank you. I am so happy that you clicked on today's video. I am so happy to have you here. I truly hope that you do consider subscribing. Make sure that you hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. And you're going to also want to click on that notification bell. It just notifies you whenever I upload a brand new video. Make sure you also follow me over on my Instagram. I am always posting over there pretty much every single day. So if you want to get behind the scenes and see what I'm up to, go ahead and follow me over there. Now that my wood appliques are nice and set on there and they've had plenty of time to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my frame over and carefully take the backing off. I'm gonna take that back piece off as well as the glass. It just makes it so much easier to paint. I don't have to tape things up or any of that kind of stuff. So I'm just using a flathead screwdriver to lift up those little tabs that they have on the back to keep everything in and then I took this outside to spray paint and I didn't really have a table to set it on and I didn't want to set it on the grass over plastic like I normally paint my projects so I decided to just kind of hang it up here from my gazebo and then I'm using this paint that I already had so I didn't have to go out and purchase any more and I love this handle on here. I'm going to go ahead and try and link the exact paint color and all that stuff in my description box. I just did one coat really well and then I let this sit for about two hours. My goal for this frame was to make it look very antique and aged, have a vintage look to it, and that is why I started with a black base. And then I'm going to take this wax metallic finish paint. This one is in the gold rush color, and I'm just going to use these craft brushes and just lightly brush over, just kind of antiquing the frame. And this paint dries almost instantly, so you don't have to worry about letting it dry for hours on end, but you can add as much or as little as you want. And if you want to tone this down a little bit so it's not so bright gold, you can go back over it with a little bit of black, or you could probably add a little bit of white in there just to kind of make that gold a little less 
bright, but I really like the way this looks, so I kept it as is. But I just went ahead with my brush and went through all of the areas, focusing mostly on those beautiful, ornate details. Now that I've achieved the look that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and add my glass back to this. And then I'm gonna add my little print that I purchased and I believe I found it on Etsy. I'm not sure because I was looking on Etsy and eBay. So I'm gonna go back and find that link and I'm going to link where I found this beautiful print because I looked forever for this exact print or some type of print that resembled some beautiful antiqued roses. I absolutely love these prints. I see them in antique shops all the time, but they are so pricey from two to three to $400. And um, I am just so happy that I achieved this look. The print was very inexpensive and so was the frame. And I just love how this project turned out. I truly have so much fun decorating and I am so happy that I have married somebody that just pretty much lets me do whatever I want and decorate however I want and it does make me feel so happy and relaxed. I do have a busy lifestyle as well with my kids and hockey and cleaning and everyday stuff that I just have to do around the house and sometimes I forget about self-care so I want to take a really quick second and talk a little bit about self-care because I think it is so important and you don't even have to leave your house to give yourself a little TLC. My favorite ways to relax and give myself some self-care is taking a hot bath and just giving myself a nice close comfortable shave and I love using Harry's. I love their premium blades. They give me a close comfortable smooth shave leaving my legs silky soft. I also love their two-tone handle design. I got the ocean color. Harry's has deeper handle grooves for improved grip and 50% of the plastic in their handle is recycled. With my sensitive skin, their shave gel never disappoints because of its skin loving ingredients like aloe and hyaluronic acid. You will not only love Harry's for their silky soft close shave, but for their convenient razor refills, they are delivered right to your front door. They also give 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations, which is something that I absolutely love. They also have a 100% money back guarantee. Go ahead and click the link in my description box right now and redeem your trial set for just $3. In your trial set, you will get a five blade razor, weighted handle and blade cover and their foaming gel. And now that I've given myself a little bit of a relaxing break from reality, I am going to finish up here in the bedroom and I really wanted to share this brand new duvet cover that I recently found at Target. It is a beautiful linen duvet cover and I feel like in a lot of French country decor, they use a lot of linen fabric. And when I came across this bedding, I had to have it. So. Again, I found it at Target and they probably still have it. So luckily I can 
hopefully find a link for you guys, but I am obsessed with it. It is so gorgeous. I love adding those simple little touches to make my bedroom extra cozy. And one of the things I love using to achieve that is some super fluffy pillows. I love a ton of pillows on my bed. I just feel like it makes it so incredibly inviting. And here is that set that I was talking about. Look at that crocheted lace on the edges. So beautiful. And then right here, here's a closer look at that linen uh, fabric here. Oh, it is just so beautiful. So, so, so pretty. And I am just thrilled that I was able to find this. The shabby chic line that I normally use is no longer being sold at Target, so you, you can't buy it anymore. But this is just perfection. I really wanted to take those colors from that rose print above my bed and add it to the side of my nightstand. So I thought since it is peony season, it would be so beautiful if I went out and bought a couple bunches of peonies and right now Trader Joe's has them and they are perfection. They are so beautiful and they bloom so beautifully. They are just so, so incredibly gorgeous. Next to the rose, this is definitely my favorite flower. I found the perfect color combination and I just love this look in my bedroom right now. found these beautiful French country or French designed bottles on Amazon and I thought these would be perfect in my master bathroom for my soap. I just think these are so beautiful. I did purchase one of these a few months back and I have this currently down in my downstairs bathroom and I love them. These are just so pretty and they have so much character. I also love how they come with these little grips that hold your bottle or you set your bottle on top of them and they don't slip around when you're using them. And I just think they're so beautiful. So I'm gonna leave a link for these down in my description box if you are interested. I know that there are so many things that we have to keep out on our countertops because we use them every day. Well, for me, I always love finding unique ways to place them in prettier containers because it just looks better. And I just think it's a lot of fun finding different things to do that with. I loved finding those soap dispensers and adding my soap to those. I also found this glass canister at Target a while ago. It was only $5 
and I use that for our mouthwash and then I took some q-tips and cotton balls and placed them in these little glass containers and set them out on this tray so that way when I have everything out on my counter that I absolutely have to have out because I use it every single day it is displayed in such a beautiful way When I think of French country decor in the bathroom, I think of beautiful soaps and just really pretty packaging with your soaps and bath salts and stuff like that. So I made a little trip to Home Goods and I found some lovely smelling bath soaps. I also found this relaxing pillow spray and these soaps were just so beautiful. And then I also love taking baths. So I found these little bath bombs and I just cannot wait to throw this all together and make it look pretty over by the bath area. So I'm just gonna take this basket and I'm gonna place it over by my bathtub. I'm gonna end up putting most of my soaps in there. And then for these bath bombs, I have this little container that I found at Target not too long ago. And I believe this little container was $5 as well. And I'm not gonna place the top back on because it wouldn't fit, but <laughs> I wanted to kind of overflow this with bath bombs, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just placing my bath bombs in there and I'm gonna set this on my little tray that I have on my bathtub. When I was looking for a picture frame for that print, I went into Michael's and I didn't find a frame, but I did find a ton of their stuff on clearance. I got a few of these beautiful gold candlesticks and they were only a few dollars because of their spring and summer is all on a massive sale right now if you can find anything left. And then over here, I'm just using a command hook and I'm going to use this to hold one of my beautiful robes. I just thought it would look really pretty and add a little bit of color over here and it's perfect for when I get out of the bath.
Well, that is it for today's video. I hope it gave you some ideas if you are looking to decorate with that French country feel. I am so happy with how everything turned out here in the master bathroom and bedroom. I cannot wait to add more of those jewel toned colors to the rest of my home and I am so excited to share all that with you in some upcoming videos. But for now, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by. If you did love today's video, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.